Hello. Today, I'd like to take a quick look at the aftermarket screens that show no notification on iOS 13 and iOS 14 for the iPhone 11. So here I have an iPhone 11 with the display and the display has, you can see there's no notification or warning there. It has the original IC there, which has the original serial on it. So as far as iOS is concerned, when this phone boots, this is the original genuine display. Now, next to it I have, here is an aftermarket copy display. This I see here has either no serial on it or just zeros. This display here is a refurbished display. This I see is an original genuine iPhone 11 display I see. However, it is not the I see which is uniquely paired to this phone here. So. What I'm going to do is, first I'm going to show you the display notification. So this display notification was brought in with the iPhone 11 series. And here you can see when I've got the refurbished display with a non-calibrated IC connected, it shows the important display message which says, unable to, oh, unable to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. Now... That's a bit of a lie because, and here it says again, I'm able to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. When you click learn more, it takes you to the about. Settings general about, which says important display message. I'm able to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. Now it's important um, to understand with this that this iPhone is not actually trying to find out whether the display connected is a genuine display. It is just trying to work out whether it is the uniquely calibrated display which was calibrated using the Apple calibration tools. So I'm going to disconnect this now. And I'm going to reconnect the original screen. So when iOS boots this time, it will find the unique serial that it's coded to look for. So what will happen is the notification will pop up very briefly on the front of the screen. Oh, oh there we go. And then it will disappear. And then if I go into settings, general, about, there is no display message or anything there. Now it's important to note that this iPhone is on iOS 14.7.1, which is the latest iOS 14. Now, if I disconnect the battery and disconnect this screen again, I'm now going to take the aftermarket screen with an IC which is either blank or just has zeros on it and I'm going to connect this to the phone. Now if this behaved in the same way as the refurbished screen this should show a notification. As you can see as that's booting up there is no notification on the lock screen and the colors are slightly different because it's an aftermarket screen. But if I go to settings, general, about, there is no notification there. So what the suppliers discovered a few months ago is that if this I see here, if it's either blank or just written with zeros, this is a sort of iOS bug where iOS does not recognize the display as not the uniquely calibrated one, therefore does not show the notification and does not show a warning inside settings, general, about. So for the last few months, it's had the potential for people to use these screens and not have a conversation with their client about the type of screen used and be able to turn out the repair without the notification and without having any communication with their customer. So what I'm going to do now is uh, Apple released iOS 15 beta 7 just a couple of days ago. I'm going to enroll this phone into the Apple public uh, iOS beta program and then I'm going to update this phone to iOS 15 beta 7 and then I'm going to test it again with the same three screens as we just have and then see if we get any notification with any of the screens, specifically the aftermarket copy screen to see whether Apple have um, made that now come up with a notification. All right.
we've now got the profile downloaded and there we go install restart required and after, now that this iOS 15 beta profile is installed if I go to settings general software update it will have a software update available for iOS 15 so we can finally get to the iOS 15 beta 7 and then we can test it further Go to settings, general software update. There we go. 5.5 gigabytes. It's going to take quite some time. Download and install. Okay. Update requested. I'm going to pop this on charge. And I'll cut the video. We'll come back to this once this is installed and we're on RS15. Right. We're back. Uh, this is the same phone. It's actually been about five or six days since I recorded the first part of this. It was such a long download. Um, I just haven't got around to doing the second part of this video. Um, so that has made a difference with what I'm going to show you, which I'll explain in a little while. But if I go to settings general about on this phone, you can see it's now on software version iOS 15. So it's on the latest beta. Um, this display that's fitted has the originally paired IC there. So this phone, when it boots, it recognizes the original IC and it shows no notification about verifying that the display is the uh, genuine Apple display. So this display works fine on iOS 15. I'm now going to disconnect the battery and I've got two other displays to test. So the first one I'm going to test is the refurbished display, which has a new iPhone 11 IC on here. So the core panel is pulled from um, an original iPhone 11 and it's had a new glass and digitizer put on it. If I just plug it in. Okay, so that's now booting up. If you remember on iOS 14.7.1, this display did show a notification saying unable to verify if this is a genuine Apple display. So let's see how it behaves on iOS 15. So settings, general, about, and you can see there it says important display message, unable to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. Now you will notice when I booted this phone up that it didn't show a notification on the lock screen. That is because it's been over four days since I first um, updated this phone and connected one of these displays. I just haven't got around to doing a second part of the video yet, but the lock screen notification was here when I first updated it. So it appeared on, on the lock screen and it appeared in the settings. So now I'm going to disconnect this screen, which behaved in the same way as it did on iOS 14.7.1. And I'm going to reconnect the original screen just to clear the notification. Show you that it's not there. Okay, settings, general, about, nothing there about the display this time. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect this display. And the last one I've got to test is the aftermarket screen. So this is a aftermarket copy screen. I've gone over the IC and the build of this screen already. On iOS 14.7.1, this display showed no notification message. It didn't show anything about um, whether the display could be verified as being genuine or not. So had you have done a repair on an iPhone 11 using an aftermarket screen that didn't show a notification on 14.7.1 or any earlier versions of iOS, let's see what happens on the latest iOS 15 beta. Now remember, because it's been over four days, it's not going to show any notification on the lock screen now because after four days, it buries it in the uh, settings of the phone. So let's unlock the phone, settings, general, about, and now it says, important display message, unable to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. Now you must remember that on iOS 14.7.1, with this exact phone and this exact screen, we had no notification about verifying the genuine display. So what this means is, if you have done any repairs to the iPhone 11, 
or iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max where they use this aftermarket copy style of digitizer where it doesn't show a notification on RS14 and you have carried out a repair for a customer on RS14 and you haven't discussed this pop-up and this message with them. One, when that customer updates to iOS 15, this message will, if it had already appeared or not, it doesn't matter, this is going to reappear on the lock screen and then they get another four days before it goes back to the settings. So when I first updated this phone to iOS 15, I connected this exact display and it did appear on the lock screen. It appeared as a notification that popped up on the lock screen constantly. So if you have used any of this quality of screen for any repairs and you have not had that discussion with your customer, be prepared when iOS 15 drops to have customers asking questions as to what it means um, and have a good explanation for them. So um, yeah. There you go. Take care, guys.